Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here we have is the figure eye standard Naruto Uzumaki from Naruto Shippuden. Um, this is a pretty damn awesome figure eye standard kit. Um, I, I was really skeptical at first. Um, I did see the prototypes. Uh, I forgot what the uh, the convention was, um, but they did show the prototypes, and I was all for it. Like it looked really good. I seen that it had you know the magnetic uh, chakra kind of like little attachments at the feet, and I'm like, you know, what? this is going to be a pretty cool looking kit. Um, I still was kind of skeptical because I don't really mess too much with uh, the figure eye standard stuff. Uh, but after building like the um, the diver Nami, I was like, you know what? Like this might be a pretty decent kit. Uh, so I, I finally got my hands on a couple of them. Uh, there, there were um, not really too easy to find when they first came out, uh, but eventually I went ahead and I, I got to find them over at my local hobby shop. I guess it was just maybe like a week delay. Uh, but ultimately, I bought two of them. I, I would love to buy more, but I got to really move on to other kits. Uh, but yeah, these are pretty awesome um, You know, kits overall, very humanoid. So definitely going to be different than the Gundam reviews. So let's go ahead and just jump right in into the review. So my first thoughts on this kit is that it looks really good. Uh, it is very proportionate and very accurate to the anime. Um, I don't think there's really any kind of like really big faults on this and those are I'll, I'll definitely get into at the end of the video. Uh, but I think for a figureized kit that costs roughly around like 20 to 25 bucks, uh, you're really going to get your money's worth in this. So the details overall are pretty good. It's not going to come with a lot of accessories, which we'll cover uh, you know, a little bit later on in the video. Um, but I think the overall look of the kit, it definitely matches the tone of Naruto. Like It, it has a fairly aggressive looking face, but it also is going to have another kind of more smirk you know, face um, that is very toned to what Naruto is kind of like. You know, he has an ace in a hole kind of like a uh, demeanor. So, uh, those are some of the things that I'm definitely going to be getting into. And let's go ahead and just take a look at some of the more uh, immediate details along the kit. And just overall, it's going to look really good. Uh, probably do some panel line right there just for the whiskers. Um, you probably don't have to do as deep of a black as I did. Uh, if you want, you can kind of do it more subtle. But, you know, I just went ahead and just put some panel line marker in there. Um, I don't think it looks that bad, but. Maybe a little bit more subtle would probably go uh, a little bit longer of a way. So, um, you know, you can kind of go ahead and look at this and see, like, if you really want to go ahead and make it this dark, uh, you can go ahead and do that. If not, you can go ahead and make yours lighter. Now, for the forehead protector, I did use a silver uh, Gundam marker for that. Um, you know, with the matte, you know, spray, I think it looks pretty decent. Um, the other sticker, which I'll show you, is very, very reflective. And I just didn't think that looked good. I, I, I preferred it to be more matte. And then um, the one thing I did mess up on is I used the Gundam marker instead of using like the accent panel line uh, for the actual Leaf Village symbol. So I, it's a little bit thicker of a black than what I wanted. I wanted it to be very, very thin. Um, so I could I could have always like, you know, redo that. But I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead and show my mistakes and um, kind of like hope that y'all you know, heed the warning and use something a little bit more thin, uh, like a pencil or something, uh, to go ahead and get that uh, symbol, you know, correct. Now looking at the body and the waist, uh, I'm just going to kind of like include all this together. Uh, I went ahead and used a silver marker just for the zipper right here. Um, you know, it's basically going to be black, so using that, zi uh, that silver marker is definitely going to go ahead and add just a little bit more color to it. And then uh, the little Uzumaki symbol in the back, um, I just went ahead and paint that, painted that um, a matter red. And I just went ahead and ran over that black with a uh, gun of marker. So overall, it looks good. And it's way, way better than the sticker because when I show you all these stickers, man, they're going to look horrible. Now, this is definitely one of the stickers I did use. I don't think I, yeah, I didn't use any other stickers on this kit except for this one because this is a uh, flush sticker. There's no raised parts on here, so I couldn't paint this individually. Like, this is the only way you can go ahead and get this symbol unless you go ahead and paint it yourself. But I'm, I'm not really that talented to go ahead and like freehand this. Uh, so I went ahead and just threw that sticker right on there. And overall, the arms look good. It's basically just going to be black for uh, the sleeves, and then you got the flesh color tones for the hands. And next, looking at the legs and the feet. Um, now, I will go ahead and just admit my faults. I really messed up when it came to this black lining. 
um, when I show the sticker, well, I'll show you right now. So for the sticker, the sticker basically has straight lines, right? Uh, I, I think the stickers don't look that good, so I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and omit those. And I painted the white, so I used primer, painted, uh, pretty much painted that, used the white, used the, the black paint marker right on, along here. The black came out perfectly fine. The white itself came out fine. But then when I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and use the, uh, try and get those lines mimicked. And it just did not come out that great. So um, I'll probably you know, advise y'all to go ahead and use something a little bit straighter. Uh, maybe put some tape down there and it kind of run along the tape. That might work a little bit better. Uh, but completely up to y'all. And uh, the legs overall look pretty good. And I'll definitely discuss the articulation. Okay, so just going over the stickers that do come with this kit. You have the eyes right here. Uh, now, these eyes kind of look di uh, different directions except for these, but these two right here are going to look left and right, and you really can't mimic that unless you really do some editing on those um, on the eyes, but if you want, you can definitely use these, but he him looking forward is good enough for me. And then that forehead protector is definitely going to be pretty chrome and glossy, but I don't think it looked that good, so I just went ahead and painted it like I mentioned before, uh, but yeah, that's what the sticker looks like. And here's the sticker for the Uzumaki little symbol in the back. Once again, the bandage and the little black stripe on the leg. And then I did use the stickers for the flesh color tone right there uh, below the pants. Now for articulation, the head is basically going to be on a dual ball joint. So one ball joint below the neck and then one ball joint right there uh, connecting to the head. So back and forth all the way around, but it is going to kind of get loose if you, you know, a little bit too rough with it. And it can go basically left and right. The bandana is going to be on a little peg that's connected right there, so it could definitely move around, but I would just prefer to keep it on the side because it kind of keeps it out of the way, and you can definitely do more uh, poses with it like that. And the shoulder joint is going to be on a little ball joint right inside there, so it can move around like so. Goes up that far. Swivel at the bicep. It does have two points of articulation right here at the elbow. And then ball joint right here at the wrist. The waist is also going to have some mobility right there as you can see, but if you push it too far, you're really going to have like some little ugly, you know, inner frame stuff right there. So I would just kind of recommend you, if you're going to use it, try and not bring it all the way up, kind of keep it a little bit more like that. Now for the hips, the hips can go up that much and can come down this much. Now you can also go ahead and move it up, move it forward as well as backwards but the backwards is going to be very very limited as you can see you can definitely rotate it right there as well the knee joint is going to have one point of articulation uh, which is going to be a little bit more than a 90 degree bend and then the feet are going to be on these little ball joints like so and here are all the accessories that it's going to come with now the first face that it's going to have is kind of more uh, like a pretty serious but it has like a slight smirk i could be wrong but uh, it's definitely a serious face, but kind of like, you know what, I got this and I'm not being overwhelmed. And next is going to be this smiling, kind of like, still aggressive because his eyebrows are just like in that kind of like downwards frown motion. Uh, but he's definitely happy and kind of more eager to go ahead and take on challenges. Now for hands, he does have fists. Hands for positioning himself to use ninjutsu. And then these open kind of claw hands, uh, but these are definitely going to be utilized for the Rasengan. Uh, and you can definitely keep them in different poses, but they do have that peg in there, so it may look a little bit awkward. Now you are going to have these magnetic chakra effects. Uh, so these are pretty cool, and all they're going to do is basically plug right in here to the bottom of the foot. And there's also going to be this ankle support, so you can go ahead and pretty much plug that in to the effect. And it's also going to connect right there to the ankle just to give it some better support. So here's how the magnets work, basically like magnets. Um, I think overall it looks pretty cool and it kind of gives me some ideas about maybe like use, utilizing them for some Gundams. But I think this just really works because you could put these on like any plane and it makes sense because, you know, in the world of Naruto, the chakra allows them to go ahead and, and basically adhere to any kind of surfaces. Um, so if this had like maybe some uh, Sasuke's or, well, not some Sasuke's, but a Sasuke, then I would have a whole bunch of Naruto's uh, just basically coming at Sasuke and it, I, I would just make my whole fridge an entire diorama. Uh, but yeah, this looks pretty dope in my opinion. So. If you are going to go ahead and you know utilize these magnets, I, I would say just put them on your fridge. 
Okay, and the next accessory is going to be the Rasengan. Now, it's just your basic Rasengan, and I just love it when you have a Shadow Clone uh, basically helping him because you know how Naruto was when he was young. He really couldn't uh, control the flow of Chakra by himself, uh, so he utilized his clones to go ahead and help him, you know, kind of like, you know, circulate the, uh, the Chakra flow and, you know, create the, uh, the ball of energy so uh, i think this looks really really awesome and it's gonna be great if you just have a whole bunch of them just all over the place and uh this is a great accessory because it's a clear blue part and i mean you could paint it you know paint you know even more clear blue or you know paint maybe some silver underneath it with some uh, clear blue on top of it um but i think overall it looks really good just plain and normal like so Okay, and next is going to be the Wind Style Rasen Shuriken. Uh, basically, this is just a amped up um, shuriken, and you can actually throw it, and it will, it, it can actually expand. Uh, if you ever watch the uh, the Pain fight, which is probably one of my my favorite fights of all of Shippuden, uh, he basically throws them and it just like expands and you know just cuts everything in its path. So really really awesome effect i love this and if you get multiple narutos you are going to get multiple of these effects so if you want to have like dual shurikens um you definitely can do that and i don't know man just i i've ne i've just been completely happy the entire build session of these kits um now and these are very very simplistic they only come with you know roughly about what four like about four to five runners so you're not really going to be um, spending a whole bunch of time. If you want to just snap a whole bunch of clones together, you can literally snap a clone in about maybe an hour or so. If you don't really focus too much on like the, the nubbing and sanding. But ultimately, this is going to be really cool, especially with the added effects, um, you know, with the chakra on the feet, as well as the Resen Shuriken. And the last thing I want to go ahead and do is just compare the figure eye standard with the Figma. Um, obviously, I, I do have the chakra effects on there, so Nar the Naruto figure out standard is going to be a little bit taller. Um, but I think ultimately, I just really love the figure out standard way more because the Figma is a costly figure. It may have better posability, you know, like better articulation overall. Um, but the colors are definitely different. It's much darker on the Figma than what it is on the Figure Eye Standard. So, um, I don't know. Like, I'm just going to be 100% honest. I love the Figure Eye Standard way more than the Figma. Uh, I do have two of each. I have two of the Figma. I have two of the Figure Eye Standards because I, I just ha I have to have a clone. Um, but ultimately, like, I'm just much more satisfied with Bandai's version. So, uh, I don't know if anyone's been kind of, like, on the fence, like, oh, should I get the, uh, the figure? Should I get the model? I would highly recommend you to get the model. But the only, the only downside is the model is going to be, uh probably just much more uh, poor quality than the actual Figma because you're going to utilize a lot of stickers, a lot of the paint is not going to be there. Uh, so you, you will have to put more work into the model, um, whereas the figure has better just like kind of depth, uh, depth with it, <laughs> depth. Uh, with the overall uh, clothes and kind of like the scuff marks and everything, but you can easily replicate that into the model. Now the last set of accessories that you're going to have is basically going to be this little connecting point that connects right here into uh, Naruto's backside. And you're going to get a stand that is very much uh, essentially this stand right here. Uh, you'll, you're only going to get one of these. I just I didn't build the extra one because I already had a bunch of these uh, because I have these little effect parts. Um, now these effect parts do not come with an Naruto kit. Uh, but you do get a stand that can go ahead and utilize uh, these little effect parts like so. Now for my final verdict, I think this kit, once again, is just splendid. It, it's everything I really wanted in a nice little Naruto model. Uh, very cheap, affordable. Uh, it has like pretty much everything you would think that a Naruto character would have. It has the Rasengan, it has uh, the wind style as well. So I would just recommend you buy at least you know two or three of them and just go you know go ape shit to be honest. Uh, just put them all over your little magnetic parts. Uh, pretty much like. On your fridge or any places else that has uh, metal uh, in your garage and it's just kind of fun to go ahead and put them in a whole bunch of different poses and kind of act out different scenes uh, especially if we get some villains that can go ahead and uh, you know act out with you know Naruto essentially uh, but that's essentially it for me guys definitely thank you for watching uh, if you do like this kit I mean there's definitely a lot of places that you can go ahead and go to um, I'm pretty sure like Hobby Link Japan has it 
uh, as well as a couple of other you know stores. But uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll be seeing y'all in the next review. Bye bye.